IPv6 network mobility demonstration, and service discovery in those networks. In order to offer a permanent IPv6 connectivity to its passengers, a train embeds an IPv6 mobile router. This mobile router answers sensor and continuity for all the clients in the mobile network while the train is moving from one access network to another. Mobility management is provided by the Nemo Basic Support Protocol operated on the mobile router. The complexity is thus centralized on a single host, the mobile router. Clients in the mobile network can be usual IPv6 hosts. The mobile router is multi-homed. It can connect to various access networks at the same time. In our example, the mobile router can connect to both a wireless LAN access network and a cellular network. The wireless LAN network provides a high bitrate but has a limited coverage. The mobile router will have to handle handovers between multiple wireless LAN access networks during its movements. On the other hand, the cellular network offers a permanent connectivity but at a lower rate and with higher delays. Multi-homing thus has multiple benefits. First, load balancing through the multiple available access networks, but also fault tolerance if the mobile router disconnects from one of the access networks. After connecting to its access networks, the mobile router registers to its home agent thanks to the mobility protocol messages. Those messages allow the home agent to know the exact location of the mobile router in the internet topology. From this registration, all the traffic from the internet to the mobile network passes through the home agent. The home agent can thus redirect the traffic via one of the available paths to the mobile network. A passenger of the train connects its computer in the mobile network. It receives the list of the available services through a service auto configuration protocol. For this purpose, the mobile router regularly broadcasts the available services to the users in the mobile network, for example, video on demand, online radio, voice over IP service, and so on. The services are not necessarily located in the mobile network, the mobile router thus acts as a proxy to announce them in the network. The passenger can access those services with a specific service browser or with its usual applications that support the service auto-configuration protocol. Once the passenger decided the service he would like to access, the application contacts the service gateway with the request of the user. In the case of a video flow, all the data are conveyed from the service gateway to the home agent. The home agent can then select according to its routing policies or preferences, the path to transmit the data to the mobile network. Those routing policies can be dynamically negotiated with the mobile router at the registration time and updated at any time according to the environment of the mobile router. Once the path has been selected, the data can be transmitted to the mobile network. The mobile network is moving. It reaches the border of the wireless LAN access coverage data are still transmitted through the same pass. The mobile router then loses its access to the wireless LAN network and immediately contacts its home agent which updates its list of available paths to the mobile network. When the home agent receives data that are destined to the mobile network, it selects the alternate available pass through the cellular network. While moving, the mobile network may connect again to a wireless LAN network. In that case, it updates its home agent which can again transmit the data through this new pass. In parallel, all the data sent from the clients in the mobile network to the internet is routed by the mobile router to one of the available access networks according to their availability. Thanks to multi-homing, clients in the mobile network can benefit from a permanent internet access as long as at least one pass is available between the mobile router and its home agent. In our example, the cellular access network suffers from a low bitrate. The mobile router thus might only allow important traffic to be sent through this access network. Another possibility would be to use adaptive applications that can adapt the bitrate of the data they send 
according to the connectivity conditions of the mobile router. We have implemented all of the presented protocols in the test platform. In this platform, the mobile network is composed of a multi-home mobile router and a client. The mobile router is connected to the access networks with cables in order to clearly show the connection and disconnection to the access network. The control display monitors the access networks on which the mobile router is connected. The client in the mobile network can get the list of available services thanks to a service browser application. For example, thanks to the video on demand service, it can watch a movie streamed from the internet. The data are transmitted through the path selected by the home agent. We will now disconnect the mobile router from the access network that is currently used to transmit the data. Despite of the disconnection, the video flow is not interrupted and we can check on the control display that the access network used to transmit the data has changed. The home agent redirects all the data destined to the mobile network through another available path. We reconnect the mobile router to its access network and notice that all the data are transmitted again through this very network. 